Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5, Subject Environmental Studies or EVS. Lesson 5, Natural Resources, Part 1. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about different resources that are present on Earth. Our resources means anything that is stored, anything that we use in our day-to-day -day life or anything we, that we use, that human uses, comes under resources. Now, our Earth consists of essential resources which support life, isn't it? Like uh, water, soil, air, minerals, plants, animals, etc. which occur naturally on Earth. So, resources are, our earth consists of essential resources which support our life like uh, water, soil, air, minerals, plants, etc. which occur naturally on earth are called resources. So, these resources are necessary for all living organisms including man. These are the most valuable things in the progress of the mankind i would like you to keep the textbook while uh, going through the lesson so uh, we are going to solve few there are seven riddles given in your textbook page number 60 and 61 out of which we will be doing five i have given two for yourself please read the textbook and do it on your own now the first riddle is you can't live without me. Every plant, tree, animal needs me. Nobody can see me. Who am I? Can, can you think of something? Did you get any answers? Try to think of something. I will give you the answers. I will read out the riddle again. You can't live without me. Every plant, tree, animal needs me. Nobody can see me. Who am I? The answer is oxygen or the air. All the plants, we, we cannot live without oxygen, right? Every plant, tree, animal needs oxygen and nobody can see me. Can, can we see air? Can we see the oxygen in the air? No, right? So, this oxygen or this air is also one of the uh, natural resources present on earth. Now, one um, help for you is that all the riddles give you the answers for the different resources itself. So, second one, I occupy major portion of the earth. I satisfy all your thirsty. I make animals, trees and plants cool. Who am I? This is a little bit simple. Just when you read, I satisfy all your thirst. What, what, have, what, what do you do when you feel thirsty? You drink water so the answer is water what water occupies the major portion of the earth right almost 70 70 percent of the earth is covered with water when you feel thirsty you drink water then make animal trees and plant cool when we feel hot we like to be near the water where it is it makes us cool so the third riddle is i let you live on me I help to grow plants and trees. I support all life on me. Who am I? I let you live on me. Where do you live on? You live on lands. Yes. I help to grow plants and trees. I support all life on me. The answer is land. L-A-N-D. Uh, I request you please write the answers in your textbook where the riddles are given in page number 60 and 61. So, the next riddle is, I give fruits and nuts. I spread cooling shades. No life without me. Who am I? The answer is, plants. I give plants gives us fruits and nuts. It spreads cooling shades and there is no life without plants because we are totally dependent on plants for food for air for all the necessary things then 
uh, the fifth riddle is vehicles like buses lorries and car use me to run took thousands of years to form me from underneath the soil you extract me the answer is what do we use for uh, the vehicles to run petroleum or petrol right we uh, it takes a thousands of years for it to form so the next two riddles in your uh, textbook please try to do it on your own uh, take your parents help and complete it next uh, now as we understood we, what are the two the different resources right so we are going to learn there are that two types of resources mainly there are two types of resources one is renewable resources and the second one is non renewable resources r e n e w a b l e renewable non renewable resources first we are going to learn about renewable resources now as the word says itself renewable resources means that are the are resources that are continuously available over a period of human lifetime these resources are called renewable resources that means it is available always for us okay and now the examples given are the solar energy air water soil forest etc now these are the things that are uh, it is always present okay we cannot exhaust solar energy if we take an example of solar energy it is always present it gives us uh, light it gives us heat it gives us the, it is the most renewable resources that means you cannot exhaust the source exhaust the solar energy in our lifetime so these energies are called renewable resources now examples of renewable resources are solar energy soil or soil air forest and water these are the main renewable resources now renewable resources means i repeat it is the resource that are continuously available over a period of human lifetime the whole lifetime we can use these resources right so they are called the renewable resources next is the non renewable resources it is like the opposite of the renewable resources that's why they are called the non renewable resources now non renewable resources are the resources which cannot be renewed or um, it is not continuously available for us they are called the non renewable resources resources like coal petrol diesel and natural gases will run out due to their uh, continuous uses now we uh, we have very less petrol or coal available in the on the earth okay so if we keep using it in the way we are using it today one day there will be no petrol at all to extract from the earth such resources which cannot be renewed are called non renewable resources now non renewable resources uh, examples of non renewable resources are natural gas then petrol and coal these are the main uh, examples of the non renewable resources now in the next video we will be learning about what are the different um, uh, renewable and non renewable resources and how we are Uh, how we have to use it carefully and all those things we will be learning in the next lesson next video thank you children stay at home stay safe uh, to revise in a short version of what we learned today we learned about what are the different resources and what are renewable and non renewable resources stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you